Super Perigimun. Seth dropped his backpack on the kitchen table and headed straight for the refrigerator. He needed a good snack if he was going to stay up late to watch the Super Perigimun. That he really cared about, not that he really cared about the moon, but Mr. Andrews had assigned a project due tomorrow. Still, Seth still couldn't believe Mr. Andrews expected him to do all that work in one night. Hungry? Mom asked. Seth shrugged. Not really, but I have to fuel up. Mr. Andrew is making me watch the moon tonight and write up information on it. Oh, that's right. Tonight is the super perigee moon, Mom smiled. What a fun assignment. Fun? Was she crazy? I don't think staying up late to stare at a moon and write down my observation sounds like fun at all. Mom laughed. You just wait. I bet you'll enjoy it more than you think you will. Seth doubted it. Mr. Andrews told the class that the super PG moon occurs when the full or noon moon is closest to the Earth on its elliptical orbit. They'd spent the entire class talking about orbits and how big the moon usually looks. Seth didn't see why this was such a big deal. So the moon looked a little bigger and brighter than usual. When the sun set, Seth walked out on the deck. That's weird, he said to his dad, who decided to watch the moon with him. It's so bright out here. The Super Pajee moon is about 30% brighter than the regular moon, Dad said. When I was younger, Grandpa used to study astronomy. He taught me all about space. The Super Pajee moon was always one of my favorite things to look at. You don't even need a telescope. Seth gawked at the moon. Not only was it bright, it was huge, bigger than any full moon he'd ever seen. It's gigantic, about 14% larger than usual, Dad said. Seth opened the notebook he'd brought outside and started jotting down the information his dad told him. Think I should take pictures for the assignment? Why not? I bet it would get you some extra credit. And I'm, I'd kind of like to have pictures to remember this. It's pretty cool. So, I take it you're not too upset you have to do this assignment after all, Dad said. Seth continued to stare in awe at the enormous PAG moon. I think it's the best assignment we've had all year. Super PAG moon. Question 1. When does the super PAG moon occur? A. When the moon is full and appears very low on the horizon. B. When the moon crosses over the sun. C. When the moon is full and closest to Earth. D. When the moon hides behind the clouds. Question 2. Seth's homework assignment was to stay up to watch the Super Pajee Moon and A. Talk about what he saw with the class. B. Take pictures of the moon. C. Discuss the Pajee Moon with his parents. D. Write down a description of what he saw. Question 3. How did Seth's attitude about his homework assignment change during the story? Question 4. During a super purgy moon, A. The moon looks larger and brighter than normal. B. The moon comes out during the daylight hours. C. The moon spins more quickly than normal. D. People on Earth should stay indoors. Question 5. What did Seth write in his notebook? A. Information he read about the Super Purgy Moon. B. Facts from the internet about the Super Purgy Moon. C. Illustrations of the Super Purgy Moon. Or D. Information he learned from his father about the Super Purgy Moon. Match each vocabulary word from the story to the correct definition. Our words are refrigerator, Elliptical, moon, astronomy, extra credit, jotting, do, doubted. A. Writing quickly. B. Time when something must be completed. C. Did not believe was skeptical. D. Bonus points given for schoolwork that was not required. E. Large object that orbits around a planet. F. Machine for keeping food cold. G. The study of outer space, stars, and planets. H. Egg-shaped, oval-shaped, 
not perfectly round.